Okay. My name is Dr. Dirk Miller Wieland from Germany. I'm professor of medicine at the University of Aachen and my clinical background is internal medicine and specialized in endocrinology, diabetes and metabolism with a special interest in cardiovascular risk and type 2 diabetes. Welcome doctor. Can you tell us about your talk? Yes, my talk presented today was uh, focusing on new treatment options involving incretin based treatment strategies, meaning the role of GLP-1 receptor agonists or DPP-4 inhibitors. And uh, what I did is giving a little bit of background about the action of GLP-1, the incretin hormones which have been discovered many years ago, but what we learned about their metabolic action, meaning improving insulin re secretion and also the suppression of the counter player, which is glucagon. Um, this has led to the clinical development and to the first actions in more than 10 years. Um, one example is the DPP4 and acetagliptin, which is in GEGYPT available for 10 years now. And over the years, and besides the clinical effects, we also have learned that uh, the GLP-1 system might also have direct effects improving inflammation, might have direct effects on microalbuminuria and specific kidney functions. Uh, of course, it regulates appetite and therefore weight regulation. But most interestingly is that there is accumulating evidence also from the experimental data set that it might affect different aspects in the dis, uh, development of cardiovascular disease. And therefore, of course, and that's what I discussed, is that we looked with great expectancy for the large cardiovascular outcome trials, which are mainly safety trials, uh, uh, investigating the different GLP-1 receptor agonists as well as the DPP-4 inhibitors. And the very good message is, yes, they are safe, meaning GLP-1 receptor agonists and especially also the DPP-4 inhibitors are safe uh, in regard of cardiovascular side effects. And there is uh, specific evidence at the moment for the GLP-1 receptor lyoglutide and most recently at the ASD for iboglutide and semaglutide that there is even cardio uh, coronary protection. However, the largest trial uh, and longest trial uh, for the DPP-4 inhibitors is the TCOS trial, uh, looking at more than 14,000 patients with cetagliptin, and it's safe. It's also safe in patients with risk and or having uh, heart failure and also uh, already reduced kidney function. So this is a large data set which reinforces us that we have new drugs available after metformin which are safe for hypoglycemia, neutral and with little impact on weight gain and therefore and that's what I presented at the third time is that we have a recent consensus report between the European and the American Diabetes Association just discussed at the 5th of October in, at the meeting in Berlin in Germany and there clearly the main message was that the treatment goals of type 2 diabetes is to reduce cardiovascular complications and improve quality of life but meaning also that we should use therapies which are easily to implement so the question is, what comes after metformin, which stays the first-line therapy? And then we divided the patient groups and patients with pre-existing clinical cardiovascular disease, because this represents the cardiovascular outcome trials. And in this case, which mainly represents about 20 to 30 percent of the patients, we have a preferred indication due to the data set for either SGLT2 inhibitors or GLP-1 receptor agonists proving by evidence uh, in clinical outcome studies that they have the be benefit. However, for the other 70 or two-thirds of patients with type 2 diabetes without clinical overt disease, 
We want to have treatment strategies which are safe for hypoglycemia and with low impact on weight gain. And therefore, there is a very much strong consideration, of course, to recommend after metformin either shield 2 inhibitors or DPP4 inhibitors. And the advantage of DPP4 inhibitors in most situations is that there is a large data set, uh, a long already experience on the market. It's easy to implement, uh, it's safe. And I personally think also, especially in the elderly patients, elderly meaning not really old, mm -hmm. but meaning, for example, above 70, about 30% of all patients with type 2 diabetes are older than 70. Mm -hmm. And they want to have an easygoing, safe treatment uh, strategy. And that's why I ended with my personal impression that I think this is also, an, uh, until now, still uh, a field where TPP4 inhibitors will have a great clinical impact. Okay, thank you, doctor. Thank you so much.